rhythm. Two teams with identical 42% field goal shooting on the season coming in and 32 and 33% from three-point range. Two offensive-minded teams and Coach Kevin Lehman here to start the game. 20% from the floor and 22% from the floor to get us started. How many times have we seen that? You've got great offensive teams. You're looking for this high-paced battle, and it becomes a defensive juggernaut. Well, a game like this, you're like every possession is just going to be so critical. And so your work is so hard on that defensive end of the floor. You see a good look at the beach zone that Aaron Barnum is shooting towards. Some beach chairs, a tiki bar. A fantastic setup behind the hoop there. Saw you over at the Tiki Bar between our last two games. Well, that Daniels missed the that layup. That wasn't me. That wasn't me. Come on now. You're trying to get me fired? <laughs> Clemson taking care of Northern Arizona in game one. And there is Jalen Glenn taking care of that bucket for Kansas State. Jalen Glenn come off a huge game. 23 points. That matchup against Northern Arizona. Aaron Barnum's two for two. She has five points here. Arkansas, the quick answer. Gabby Gregory, the transfer from Oklahoma, spent three seasons with the Sooners. Roll diminished a little last year and is looking for a new home. And that's last touch by Gregory, the block from behind by Barnum. Good defensive awareness by Barnum to come over from the weak side and get the block from behind. They know from the sky report, Gregory likes to get inside, and she likes the pump fake to get you off balance before she scores. Barnum knows the scouting report. Aaron Barnum, one of the best power forwards in the country. There is Sailor Poppenbarger drilling it from outside. We'll check out 0 for 2 so far for Gabby Gregory. Here's Glenn, the jumper, knocking it in. Excellent out of bounds play by Jeff Mitty. There's Barnum inside. Baranchek. So decided to seek a new home for her. Final year of college basketball. Jumped in the portal, and Jeff Mitty made the call that day and said, I'll be there this afternoon. Now, we saw this zone two games ago. Long and active. A lot of long arms. There's Aaron Barnum working on a one-on-one oh, -on -one wow. against Greer. Wildcats are getting back in transition. That's where Spencer and Daniels excel also off of live ball turnovers and Kansas State is a low turnover team and a at Syracuse last year at Kansas State the three years prior was on the all freshman team in the Big 12 Spencer can't hit Arkansas just one for nine from downtown. Well, they scored against the zone in the first possession, and that was when Mitty had the timeout, made the adjustment. And the Razorbacks have not had a basket since. No oh, matter. Smile, not much. She's trying to hold it in. Got to sell it, bank it in, and let everybody in the arena said, I meant to do that. And so Clemson with a bank shot last game kind of got the offense rolling. Here's Barnum to take across the lane. And, an and, and now she's scoring against the zone. Jalen Glenn, the lob for Moppin, and Spencer tracks it down in the corner. Good read by Daniels on the help side defense. Knocked it loose. Poffenbarger down in the corner. Chrissy. Gregory has not scored. Michaela Daniels with three minutes to play as the basketball. Preseason All-SEC second team. She graduated college in three years at Arkansas. Last year led the team in 
rebounds per game and steals. Gets the floor. Serena Sundell trying to turn the corner. Blocked from behind by Barnum. Gets it back in Sundell. It's her second bucket of the game. Five points for Serena Sundell. A sophomore. The feed inside and car wide. Poffenberger using her length. Arkansas nine point leads. Going to try and hold for the final shot of the first half. Arkansas receiving votes in the coaches poll. Kansas State number 25 in the AP poll. Also receiving votes in the coaches poll. Near steal by Gregory. The kick out. Chrissy Carr. There's Jalen Glenn on the drive working against Carr. No. On the first try, yes. They went into her early and off, and, and she delivered. Sundell tries the three, and Barnum taps the rebound out to Poffenbarger. Well, Kansas State is a team that really prides themselves in moving the basketball. Right now, they're coming up and chucking. Here's Barnum. Now Coach Neighbors wants the Razorbacks to slow it down. They've come up and chucked it a few times. I said I did like that one in transition by Daniels because she was wide open on a step in. But their bread and butter has been inside she has had in this game. Watch out. Samara Spencer. She's 0 for 5 from 3. Now Sundell, who crafty around the rim, gets it one on a bunch. Sundell gets a basket. Nine points now for Sundell. Here's Poffenbarger, kicks to Daniels. And Daniels, another, it's now, that's her second triple. That's big time offense by Poffenbarger. Left block, flared out to the right wing. Jalen Glenn, a great... Arkansas basketball working with a lead over 25th ranked Kansas State. And Taylor Lauterbach missing for Kansas State. Should mention for the K State Wildcats and head coach Jeff Mitty will spend the rest of this season without the services. Sundell kicks it out to Glenn. Glenn tries the runner in the lane. Here comes Spencer. Out to Carr. She has been. Three for 16 from the floor. That's less than 25% shooting. And Coach, you like to put mini goals out there if you're down big by the end of the fourth quarter. They need to try and get a couple baskets and a couple stops here in the final minute. No, they have really struggled for any type of flow. They've relied on, you see Gabby Gregory, she's favoring that ankle as she runs up and down the court. Like right now, she's not putting weight on it. You see, see her on the her left, left side, side of your, of your screen. screen yeah. Really favoring the right ankle. And I think Coach Mitty just saw that. Poffenbarger for wow. three from the right wing. And Arkansas just continuing to deliver. Hitting on all cylinders. There Gabby go. Gregory and came down knocked in a three was still favoring her ankle and she's stretching it out from time to time on that bench during this the end of this last timeout. Well Jeff Mitty saw her favoring the ankle. Kansas State number 25 in the AP poll. Brad this is the type of game though that exposes the absence of Lee for Kansas State. There's two more for the court. They played her inside at the point on the wing. It's a takeaway by Briley Glenn. Now Ebert, the jumper from the baseline. By the three-point line and challenged him. He did not like the body language that he was seeing from his Wildcats. Jeff Mitty's not coaching for today's game. He's coaching for December 4th. When they play Houston at home, he's coaching for the future. There's Barnum strong to the ring. Without her offense, this Kansas State team just could not get untracked. And you see her right in front of the ball still working that right leg and ankle. Corner three, good. Excellent game plan 
by Mike Neighbors. His defensive alignments. And then offensively, they went into Barnum early and often. The drive, Spencer. Emery Ellis on the floor. Nice move by Mike Neighbors to get these young women some playing time. Well, it's been quite a trip down here at the Paradise Jam for Arkansas. Head coach Mike Neighbors got his 200th career win in the first game of the day. And here's an offensive foul called on Emery Ellis. Goes Sundell, just a sophomore on the Big 12 All-Freshman team a season ago. Kevin, she's going to be a good one for Wildcat fans. Three-season pick this year. Monday, it'll be interesting when, to see when the new polls come out to see where this Arkansas team lands. Receiving votes. On last Monday's poll, this one will get some attention. 69-53 is going to be your final. As Arkansas came at Kansas State. Big second and third quarter, scoring 22 and 23 points in those quarters. As Arkansas wins the Reef Tournament. And the team shake hands. And these two teams, Kevin, both played so great.